Hello fellow streamers, my name is Neverhu, and this is episode 1 of Flyer on Board tutorial series. Uh, in this episode we're gonna take a look at how to make random memes appear on your screen when someone redeems points on Twitch. This is a request from a fellow streamer that goes by the name of Junebugs. And yeah, let's get this shit started, shall we? So, how do we go around that? First of all, we need to understand how many memes or how what kind of memes we're gonna go for. And how we're gonna do random. Let's go and create a new button and I'll show you how we're gonna do this. So, how are we gonna do random? We just created a button, so let's add commands to it. So, there is a command, it's gonna be called file load string. File load string. So, what does this command do and why do we care about it? This command loads text from file. Why do we need this? I'll explain it. So, we have one, two, three, four sections here. First is file name. There we're gonna put in the name of the file we're gonna create a little bit later. Section is just, we, it's irrelevant for this example, but you can have several sections in, in file and it shows from which section do we load our strings. Key. This is what is important. Uh, key, think about it like a hotkey. But instead of pressing button, you look for a text. So basically, if you bind Alt plus F1 to something, you can write it down. And when uh, Laren board finds this text, it's going to load something that is assigned to it. And value name is what we're going to save the string to what variable we're going to save the string we just loaded. Don't worry if you don't understand anything right now. It's going to be way clearer when we do what we need to do. So, first of all, we need to create our memes that we're going to be loading. So, if you just want to... I don't know. If you just want to have simple GIFs appear, then you just go to, uh, to OBS, to your OBS, and create a new source with whatever name, with whatever image or video or whatever. Uh, for now we have several memes ready that I've pre-made for this tutorial. Uh, so it's gonna be something like... Ah oh, shit! Something Here like we that. go again. This is GIF and sound. And if you want to do that, there is a little bit different technique to that. And that's what we're gonna be looking at today. So, let me show you how we do this. Now we go back to our Lyran board and we create a new button. Uh, we're gonna give it a name. Uh, like... So this is gonna be X-Files meme. Then we... If you want to play sound, you just do add sound effect. Then you press plus, then you press folder thingy and it will open your explorer so you can go and look for the sound you want. So, uh, we're gonna use this one. And then we click Done. Then we right-click uh, this button, we press Add Commands, then press Plus, and what we're gonna do, we're just gonna show and hide the source. Uh, we have already pre-made the source in OBS. Here we go, here's our GIF, GIF, whatever you want to call it. So we're going to be doing source change visibility. Item is going to be whatever your source name is. So for this example, it's going to be meme with a lot of E's. Where is it? There we go. And we set visibility to true. So this will make our source visible. Then we copy this command, we paste it, and we set visibility 
to false. And here we set a delay. So how many seconds? Milliseconds to be exact. Do you want your meme to be on the screen? So if it's five seconds, you just multiply five by 1000 and you can get 5K. So if we put in 5K, then our meme gonna be on screen for five seconds. Pretty simple, right? Then we click done. Don't forget to click done again. Then we open our deck. And here we go, we have another, another button. Yeah, works perfectly. Um, so, if you want to do that, how do we go around creating a random effect? That's the question. So, there is... There is a... Command called math random. And it can generate whatever the fuck we want. So this, uh, we're going to call this value, which is just variable meme select. And as we have, how many memes do we have? We have one, two, three, four memes, four buttons for four memes. We'll go zero to three. You can go one to four, it doesn't matter. But you gotta, you have to select float to set float to false because we don't need to generate any kind of decimal. Okay, now we go into our Laren board folder. Here is where magic starts. You go to your explorer and you create a new file. Uh, let's call it memes. I have already, I have that already created, but if you don't know how to create any file, you can copy any one of those, like, like this one, paste it, and rename it to like, so it's just an example, open it, and just delete everything that's in file. But we have already created file memes, so, when you open it, it's going to be empty. Uh, do you remember that I said that we're going to take a look at this command later? So, that's when we do this. So, this file name is going to be memes any, I and I, whatever. So, let's type it in. And we need to type here. Uh, Section is just, it shows where to look. You can have multiple sections in file and it's just uh, put in those square brackets. So let's name our section memes. Okay, so here we type in memes. Key, this is where magic starts to happen. Uh, so, for example, let's say we call our keys meme0, meme1, meme2, meme3. So, let's go back. Let's look at our buttons. So, these are our four memes we created. And if you right-click, you can see that there is button ID thingy, which you can trigger any button by its ID by the command button trigger. Uh, so what can we do? We can assign those IDs to our meme keys. So this is 722. This, this one is 739. I'm doing this with you so you do understand what I'm doing. I'm not going to cut any kind of this typing so you can see what I'm doing. So this is button 738. And this button, the last one, is 740. So what we just did. We assigned a hotkey, but in text form, to each one of those four 
buttons in this file. Okay, are you following me? So basically, when our Lyran board looks for hot K called beam zero, it's gonna get 722, which is our button ID. And what can we do with that? Just look. So we save our file. And then we go to here. And we edit commands. So uh, you need to know that any, any, any variable that you put in here or in math or in whatever other um, command can be used in other commands. So this part key shows what to load, what hotkey to use. And this math random generates number from 0 to 3. If you look at our memes, we have meme 0, meme 1, meme 2, and meme 3. So we can do what? Yeah, we can do this. So any variable that you want to use um, in other commands should be put in this kind of symbols. So it's meme select. And we're gonna say this string that this command gonna load because command looks for hotkey meme zero and gets this part of the equation just as a string, just as a text. And we're gonna save the text to value meme selector. Okay, what we do next? Next we do math. No, we go trigger button. And we put button ID. Meme. Uh, it should be probably like this. Meme selector. And here we go, cubable. False. Yeah, that's gonna be it. This should generate. So how this works. When the button is triggered by Twitch command or whatever, it's gonna go like this. First, we generate a random number from 0 to 3. So it's gonna be 0, 1, 2, 3. Four numbers. Uh, then it goes into memes I and I file, looks for the section memes, then it looks at key, hot key, if you will, that is this part, meme, and it puts one of those previously generated numbers as this part, this part. And then it saves this part of the equation to the meme selector. Then we trigger button, that is gonna be this. And this is ID of our buttons. So here we go, let's test that button, shall we? This one worked. Don't worry, you can get several... You can get same button several times in a row, and we can fix that. And I pressed the wrong button. Here we go. You see, those buttons are triggered by this one button. I press this one, and it's gonna trigger other button. And it's gonna be random, because numbers are randomly generated. So, as we, you can see, we do get a lot of repeating memes. What do we want to do with that? So, so, let's say... So, let's say our previous meme gonna be called... Previous... Meme, right? Sure. And it should be equal to 
the current name, which is meme select. So we will be comparing the key numbers, the hot keys. If the hot keys are the same, then the meme is the same. That's pretty obvious, I think. So, uh, and we need to put a little bit of delay on that command so we don't immediately save um, the current value and we cannot compare it later. So let's say it's 20 milliseconds. It's more than enough. Then what we do next, we add redo if command. So we will be comparing values, redo if. We move it up. So first of all, we generate the number, then we compare the uh, number that we just generated to the number that was generated previously. And if it's the same, we want to redo the previous step. We want to regenerate our random number. So we need to do one step and self should be false. Then uh, this is just if. So this is just in case of. So in case that happens, what do we want to do? We want to repeat previous. We put it right under our redo if command. We need to repeat it once and we need to repeat two steps. We need to generate new number. We need to check if this number is the same as the previous meme. And if it's not, we can continue going. And that's it. That's how you compare and make your memes not repeat themselves. So let's check that out, shall we? Uh, here we go. Here's our deck. So this was Coffin Dance. Okay, I just can be bothered. So this is X Files. This is Kirby Run to the Asthma. This is Coffin Dance. Ah oh, shit! Here we go again. Ah oh, shit! And you, as you can see, memes do not repeat themselves twice in a row. That's what we were looking for. So yeah, that's how you do it. And the final thing you want to do with this button is to add Twitch trigger. So it's going to be, for example, point redeem. Don't f and you put here the name of your point redeem, like random meme. Don't forget that this name should be exactly the same as your redeem name. Or you can do whatever else you want to do, like, I don't know, chat message by broadcaster, random meme. So if you put that and you type this command in your chat, it's going to trigger that button. Okay, so this is going to be it for today's tutorial. So thank you guys very much for watching. If you want to catch me live, I stream mostly on weekends on Twitch. This is twitch.tv slash neverhu. And if you have any questions, please feel free to drop by in Lyran's Discord. Link gonna be in the description. And yeah, thank you, and I'll see you next time.